Hello, I'm Julian Northbrook from doingenglish.com. Let me ask you a question. Does studying idioms make you trip the light fantastic? Aha, uh -huh. well if it does, I've got news for you. Those bad boys have to be used sparingly if you want to sound natural. Just peppering your sentences with them willy-nilly will not cut the mustard. Indeed, if you do so, you will quickly come a cropper. Native speakers don't use idioms that often, certainly not as often as I just did. If we look at real data uh, about language, we see that actually idioms are used very, very sparingly. They are actually very, very infrequent, uncommon items of language. But the problem is, is the way people learn them. They do really what they do with vocabulary or anything else, and it's not a good thing to do for vocabulary or anything else either, by the way. But they take lists and they just study those things in random lists, totally out of context, from the real world, from real English, and they understand them and they learn them and they learn the form and the basic meaning, but they never build up any kind of statistical distributional information about it. That is how common it is, how frequent it is, what kind of situations and context it's used in. Whenever you learn anything, whether it's vocabulary, phrases, expressions, chunks, idioms, any block of English, you should always start with real samples of English and aim to understand those first and mimic those because you need to build up the proper, again, sorry to use such technical terms, but statistical distributional knowledge of those things. That is how common they are in real language and when they should be used and when they shouldn't be used, with whom, and you get the idea. This is the approach that I teach. I call it data-driven learning and if you want to learn all about that uh, and indeed my approach in general, the best place to start is my free training. Head over to doingenglish.com slash free training and you can for free consume, study my rocket launch method training where I'm going to teach you the five key changes that you, the high level English learner, needs to make to their day-to-day -day English learning routine to see the fastest possible progress. Right, this is me, Julian Northbrook, signing out from this video. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.